Wade Zahari's Big, Bad, and a Little Bit Scary, Poems That Bite Back. This is the title page. Always be kind to animals. Always be kind to animals, morning, noon, and night. For animals have feelings too, and furthermore, they bite. By John Gardner. Viper. Viper, viper, spiteful sniper, snake in the grass, low down base, smiling, smiling to your face, virulent, villain, venomous, vile, darting poison with a snaky smile. By Eve Miriam. Alligator. Old bowl of the waters, old dinosaur cousin. With scales by the hundreds and teeth by the dozen. Old singer of swamplands, old slithery swimmer. What do you dream of when fireflies glimmer? Can you remember the folk tales of old when you breathed fire and guarded the gold? And stole lovely ladies and captured their kings and flew over mountains on magical wings? Old bull of the waters, how can you know? Men made you a dragon in dreams long ago. Maxine W. Kuhlman. The Panther. The Panther is like a leopard, except it hasn't been peppered. Should you behold a Panther crouch, prepare to say ouch. Better yet, if called by a Panther, don't answer. By Ogden Nash. The Sparrowhawk. Wings like pistols flashing at his sides, masked above the meadow running runway rides, galloping, galloping with an easy rein, below the field mouse where the shadow glides, holds fast the small purse of his life and hides. Russell Hoven. The Shark. A treacherous monster is the shark. He never makes the least remark. And when he sees you on the sand, he doesn't seem to want to land. He watches you take off your clothes, and not the least excitement shows. His eyes do not grow bright or roll. He has astounding self-control. He waits till you are quite undressed and seems to take no interest. And when towards the sea you leap, he looks as if he were asleep. But when you once get in his range, his whole demeanor seems to change. He throws his body right about, and his true character comes out. It's no use crying or appealing. He seems to lose all decent feeling. After this warning, you will wish to keep clear of this treacherous fish. His back is black, his stomach white. He has a very dangerous bite. Lord Alfred Douglas. Lion. Lion. Look, a lion. Mighty beast. Might he bite me for a feast? Though I know he wouldn't dare. I'm mighty glad he's over there. Mary Ann Hoberman. The vulture. The vulture eats between his meals, and that's the reason why he's, he very, very rarely feels, as well as you and I. His eye is dull, his head is bald, his neck is growing thinner. Oh, what a lesson for us all, to only eat at dinner. By Hilaire Bellic. The eel. The feel of an eel is slippery slimy. He's sleek and he's black as a panther at night. He slides through your fingers rapidly, slyly, a flip of his tail and he slips out of sight. Robert S. Oliver. The porcupine. A porcupine looks somewhat silly. He also is extremely quilly. And if he shoots a quill at you, run fast or you'll be quilly too. 
I would not want a porcupine to be my loving valentine. By Carla Cuskin. Octopus. Marvel at the awful many-armed sea god Octopus and the coiled elbows of his eager eightfold embrace. Yet also at his tapered tender fingertips ferrying their great brow along the seafloor in solitary grace. By Valerie Worth. Strippers. If you fall into a river that's full of piranha, they'll strip off your flesh like you'd skin a banana. There's no time for screaming, there's no time for groans. In 45 seconds, you're nothing but bones. Dick Kingsmith. Bat. Dark air life looping, yet missing the pure loop. A twitch, a twitter, an elastic shudder in flight, and serrated wings against the sky. Like a glove, a black glove thrown up at the light and falling back. D.H. Lawrence. The Barracuda. Slowly, slowly he cruises, and slowly, slowly he chooses. Which kind of fish he prefers to take this morning? Then without warning, the Barracuda opens his jaws, teeth flashing, and with a horrible, horrible grinding and gnashing, devours a hundred poor creatures and feels no remorse. It's no wonder, of course, that he really ought, perhaps, to change his ways. But, as he says with an evil grin, it's actually not my fault, you see. I've nothing to do with the tragedy. I open my mouth for a yawn and ah me. They all swim in. By John Gardner. Hippopotamus. The hippopotamus, hippo for short, is as lazy as sin, it is sad to report. He wallows for hours up to his eyes in mud while tropical butterflies flicker above him through the skies while peacocks scream and apes cavort. Black water trickles down from his ears. Around his head, the blue mist clears. He lifts his broad back, shakes off flies, opens his pink mouth, blinks his eyes then sinks back under and disappears. William J. Smith. This book is for you, Judy Sue. The End.